raise the bat. Take the helmet off, mate. Episode, <laughs> episode 100. 100. We fucking made it. And you're looking at us as well. Yeah. Welcome to the YouTube. Yeah, well, if you're not, if you're driving in your car, you're doing something audio, you can actually put on your TV and watch us. We're now, we're now in colour, in full vision. You can see what we look like in case you didn't even know what we looked yeah. like. Yeah. This is what I wear every day. You can put a face to the voices. You know? Thank you for joining us. Episode 100. Who thought it was possible? Me. Yep. I uh, thought I thought, I thought we would pretty, get there. Yeah. You know what? Not much of an accomplishment, really. Oh, We're it's just pretty good. Going. Let's just let's just take a bit of time. Because it is pretty good. It's a hundred episodes, you know what I mean? Like it's quite a lot. It is a hundred episodes. In the in about thirteen months. It's pretty solid effort. We've been consistent. We didn't stop over Christmas. We worked. I'm grateful for the audience we have 100 percent. i'm grateful Otherwise we for, wouldn't fucking be here i'm grateful for about 80 mm, percent of you okay why not the other 20 oh, i was gonna say because they didn't buy merch but it would be it would be 99 percent. be 99.9 <laughs> <laughs> that i'm ungrateful for if yeah that's the case. no we're very grateful to all the you wouldn'ters because you're all sick cunts you're all fantastic and i hope that we've impacted your life either horribly or with some positive and we might find out later on in the hotline but if you are watching you'll see a wall behind us now what's going to happen to that wall is we're going to be able to kind of kid it out a bit you know what i mean we're going to make it a little bit of ours. So I'm not sure if you've got any ideas of what we could put behind there, but we're happy to suggestions. Maybe if you like make cool shit and you want to send us something, I don't know. Like if you, something that you think would fit well behind us on our set, you know? Make us something. I like that idea, but yeah. I just want to say this right now. Don't think that just because you've slaved away and put hours in, oh, it's that not just, that going it's just up, getting man. up. Fuck, you can't be pathetic at what you do and expect to just get a fucking well, no, start. I would go even further. Even if you're good at what you do and I don't like it, it's not going up. Well, it could. we could hold it up and laugh at it, but it won't be going on the, the wall. Oh, you know what I, I mean? hope someone pours hours into whatever it is and goes, this is one of the best things I've ever made. And we I'm just laugh breaking it live on camera. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do that now because we're on YouTube. Okay. We can do what we want. Pat, we've been together for a long time. We've achieved a few milestones together. Yeah. It's present time. Let's just get it out of the way. We we got each other presents. We did get each other presents. Kyle now, got us a present. Because yeah, Kyle's a goat. <clears throat> now, look, I'm not going to lie. I was going to get you this big box of, like, sweets and treats and stuff. <sighs> what? And what did you get me instead? Well, you go to the gym now, so I thought that wouldn't be great. Okay, and I, I got stung I with a $240 that. psychology bill yesterday, so it probably didn't come at the right time. Come on. So what I've done... Come on. Is just to start, is w w at Halloween time, I bought a bunch of Mentos, which no one sold, and you just keep picking up my house. So I've got you a few lollies to go with, to have for that. Okay. And because you're... What's next? Lonely, desperate. Okay, that is too um, long years. Whatever. I mean, I could go on for a while, but you've got a hundred Tinder likes built up in the bank. So I've got you an Apple gift voucher. No way! So you can buy yourself Tinder Gold. <laughs> no way! And you're gonna get yourself at least five dates. Yeah! All right? That's, so that's go, a great present. Go buy yourself Tinder Gold. Tinder Gold's 35. <laughs> okay, well they had $30 or 50. So and? I'll give you, here you go. I'll give you five bucks. I got cash now, mate. There you go. No way. Buy yourself Tinder Gold. That's and really nice. Go get yourself, go get your dick lubed up thank you, know you I mean? so much or find I really a boyfriend like as, as we as you know we did predictions this year i predicted to get a boyfriend also predicted the king would die and now he's got cancer so i'm on a good track thank you pat that's really nice yeah that's great well you deserve love so and if I, no one else loves you then i do well thank you that means a lot yeah that means a lot and i was gonna write you a letter but i started and you just too no, emotional. No one can read my handwriting. So you I got just too emotional. I would like to thank you because when we started this podcast, Will, you were obviously already well established. You know, you had a big following. It would have been very easy for you to go, I guess, with somebody who had also a big following that you know would kind of take off. But you backed me with Kat and you Clark. gave me a chance. <laughs> you gave me a chance and I appreciate you. So thank, thank you, you for that. I really it does mean a lot and I probably don't tell you enough, but for you to back me, I really did appreciate. Well, I do appreciate. Thank you. Uh, that that really means a lot, Pat. And when I give you my present, mm. I will say something nice about you. 
You don't have to. No, but I want to. Okay. I really wanted to put it in a letter and frame it, but God, my handwriting's just awful. Like well, it's it's that's honestly okay. like a, an eight year old mentally Ooh, challenged. Can I kid. say something? Mimi's not painting something and putting it on the shelf. The no Mimi drawings are not going yet. on there. She can't do that yet. She I, can't. But but just whenever she decides I think maybe. No, because let's be honest, it's probably not gonna be that great. Oh, we'll and see. it's not going up there. Kyle, do you have a present? Yes, I have a present. And I wanna I wanna pitch something. I wanna see Fucking if, shark it tech. The, if it can be the first the first object on set. Oh, oh that's a huge <laughs> call. Okay, uh, Kyle. I have managed to find a one to one replica what? of the Rexona can. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh. hell. No. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> Is that gold it's plated? It's gold plated. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's fucked. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That went fully in her. Get me, let me have a look. I've tracked it down. Oh my! Imagine Is this the exact one? That. Give it a that's, sniff. That's the one. I went through it. Yep, smells like a. Bins. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Holy oh, that's shit! The number that's, one. Yeah, look, that's going up there. <laughs> I'll wear that gold. <laughs> now, oh, that can sit here for now. Fucking hell! I Thank have you. a present. This is from some fantastic girls. Um, at their new company, Lido. Um, and I'm going to explain what they do after you open it. But Pat, I've got one and you've got one. So, oh, so you pretty much used a brand there deal you to go. give me a present. There you go. No, not a brand deal. So read the card. This bag as well, by the way, okay, smells- Okay, this is really nice. Yeah, this bag, by the way, smelt incredible. Like it, it like made my entire room- Smell nice. Yeah. So, um, open it. Do you want to read the card or no? No, maybe. Maybe. You said read the card. Okay, read the card. Happy 100th episode, Pat. What an achievement. We hope you love this custom Lido shirt to celebrate this milestone. Lots of love, Lido. Thanks, Great. Lido. So, unravel. Hope you got big sizes, Lido. <laughs> I do. I, I made sure. I, I told them your size and they got it. That's the thing. They're size inclusive, these people. I think oh. in the new You Wouldn't Pod Colours, we've got custom made. No uh, way. Yeah, so we can either we can either hang them up as Holy part of the thing. Holy shit. I'm not wearing that, dude. That's like too nice. I think we hang them up. Clueless cooking. Yep. Wow. You wouldn't. Who, Look at this. Sorry. You wouldn't 18. Mimi, what a goat. They'd get blisters <laughs> if they walked in your shoes. <laughs> look at that. Gives Rex tennis Rexona cans on there. Yep. Oh, I love it. Eight, look at that. Happy 18 because you know, Pat, you know why there's an 18 on there. Yeah, I know, I know why there's an 18 on there. Sunday night speed. Wow. Yeah, so I think who, we can pop them up. These are fun. Who, who, do you know them personally? I don't know them personally, but they're fantastic business people and they're Holy fantastic shit. artists. And it, how do I pronounce that exactly? Lido. Lido. Thank and you, also, Lido. And also, you wouldn't this wow. is the new color of the pod. Yeah. I mean, you would know that, but it's cream and orange now. Cream and orange so is the new color. So I think these colors. go up as well. Yeah, they hang up. Let, give us a look at yours. Villain. All right, let's see if you re... Oh, you got a Mimi too. That's cute. Mimi! <laughs> Did we get a poo boy? Oh, so you made yours just a little bit tailored to you. What do you mean? I made them tailored to both of us. No poo boy on there? I was hoping that. I did write that in, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a bit much, but this is fucking sick. Yeah. Thank you, Lido. Great material. Yeah, it's a legit shirt. That's fucking awesome. Thank you so much. I think it's pretty hectic. That's an amazing present, dude. I really appreciate it. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Now let's move on with the podcast. All right. Enough fucking ass sniffing. Thank you, Lido. That was amazing. I want to say something nice about you, cunt. Yeah, go on. All right. So shut up. Mm -hmm. Pat, when I met you... You, you don't remember. I do remember. We were at the SFS. Okay. And you had potential. You had dreams, ambitions. You had goals. Yeah. 21, 20 years later, 
They were in the dirt. In wow. the muck. Wow. Um, and then, you know what? I look, I'm look. i looking into the eyes of someone that... You're not looking in my eyes. Okay, well, I'll look you in the eyes. Yeah. I'm looking into the eyes of someone who's so unique and special. I've never met anyone like you. There's only one of you on this planet. There's a billion other cunts. I'll tell you right now. Fred again fans, they're all pretty similar. All identical losers that no one would miss, but not you. You are someone special. And this podcast is only good and only has a following because of you. <laughs> okay, you don't need to self-deprecate. I'm not self-deprecating. That was very nice, but the end part's I'm not self-deprecating. Not I'm not self-deprecating. So thank you for being the one that has to be nice to everybody and allowing me to be the mean one because it's exhausting being nice. And it's really nice that I can just come on here, be a little bit mean. Well, I think we're being ourselves. You think I'm mean? Yeah. But you're okay. also lovely, but you okay. just put it straight. Oh, I put it you're straight. You're also the nicest. Well, you put it... Look, Dance. if it's your love life, it's the most crooked road I've ever seen. But... Okay. My penis... You're lovely. It has a different bend to others. No, I didn't mean that. I meant because oh, like okay. a straight road well, means you're straight. <laughs> You've already admitted that because you fucked your mattress. That's why your cock's bent. Yep. But that I meant the road's, the road's whiny because you're not straight, because you're gay. Right. You know okay. what I mean? Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, thank you to all the you wouldn't actually genuinely thank you. Uh, enough yeah, sap, exactly. enough, enough gay shit. Yeah. I want to talk about- It was about, getting a little bit too- I want to talk about a movie I saw last night. All right, let's go. Okay, so it's been a long time since I can say this comfortably. I saw maybe the top, yeah, I'm just going to say, I reckon I saw the best movie I've ever seen in the last maybe two or three years. Wow, that's yep. a- in Big the cinemas, call coming from Will Gibb. I go to the cinemas. It's called the First Omen. Okay, it's a demonic, like nun film, but it's not about that. It's like a mystery. It's like a mystery film. Oh, I love that. And it's a thriller. And you're like, what is going on? Like, thriller. like what is happening in this place? Yeah. And it has some of the scariest imagery I've ever seen. There's a shot that's burned into my brain that I'll never forget. You're never going to watch the movie, are you? Just tell me. Okay, can we bleep what I'm about to say but keep it in the pod if that makes sense? So, like, I'm going to say the shot and it's just going to be a bleep and we'll get Pat's reaction to it. There's a shot of... God. Yeah. Yuck. It was fucked. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing movie and I think if you like horror, everyone should go and see it. Like, it's incre it is incredible. Yeah, who'd you go with? Jordan. And he enjoyed it? He loved it as well. 10 out of 10. Fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, last night I sat at home and watched the footy, but so I'm playing draft, Supercoach draft, right? Explain to the people what Supercoach, tr explain to the, what the, what is it? What the fuck is so it? So it's just like me and 10 mates and you pick a team like of rugby league players, but you can't have the same player. So it's a draft. So someone picks first then second then third and then so and so forth till you fill a team and then they get points each week. So if you score a try, you get a point. If you try assist, you get a point. You know what I mean? And then you verse someone each week and then whoever has the most points that week wins. And then you're second on the ladder or third. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, but that was terribly explained. I can take a bit more time to explain if you want. I How about this? If you're the first- It's not really that much point of the story. Is okay, well, keep to. going. Keep going. Anyway, I took a big risk so you can trade players. And I took a big risk and traded a great player in Cam Murray for Adam Reynolds. So I took Adam Reynolds and I gave Toby Cameron Murray, right? Because I need a halfback. Okay. Last week, my one of my best players does his knee. And then last night, Adam Reynolds looks like he's done his knee. And when I say- So we have this group chat. And I have never been, and I like, so you know, when we have bants in our, in our text message and stuff, the fucking abuse I copped last night for two hours straight, I had to leave the group chat. That's how bad it got. Oh, so there's no like nice end to that. No, there's zero nice end to it. So I was telling you about my was... Well, you were telling me about your night and I'm telling you how much no, no, shit no, I, I know, copped yeah. last night. Wow. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. Like for two hours straight, I left. You know how angry oh, I got? So angry to the I I took a photo of my ball sack and sent it, and I said, "Suck on these," and I left. That's cowardly. You reckon? Did you get added back? Yeah, and everyone said everyone then bagged out my balls. Yeah, you have weird leathery red balls. Shocking testicles. Yeah, they're Abs like they're red. 
And oh, they're dude. Really they're, well, I can't get them out because now they're, it's on YouTube. But I was going to show you them. But yeah, it's fucking... Um, well, I'm really sorry that that happened to you, but I'm not sorry because I go to the gym now. Sick cunt. Let it be known, I go to the fucking gym. I want everyone to know that. And I want to talk about my gym experiences. Do it. Okay, my first gym day, I rock up. I didn't know what any of the machines were that I had to do. I have a personal trainer that tells me what machines to do. Like an online, online trainer. Guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, he goes, use this machine, this machine, this machine. I didn't know what any of them fucking were. I got overwhelmed and I left the gym after 10 minutes. That was day yep. one. Which is fair. It's an intimidating place. It's an intimidating place. And I told him- Especially at the footy stadium. A lot of, lot of, you know, it's a little bit intimidating at the footy stadium. It's a bit intimidating. Yeah. I come back day two, hot and heavy and ready to go. And yeah. when I tell you, I fucked it up in there. Yeah. We, I, you went with Nathan. You I went, went with, with Nathan. I went with Chef. I did pool. Now, I'm still feeling the effects today, but yesterday I could barely, like, this is- that's that the as, second day? That's as far as I can stretch my arms right now. Yeah. Right? That. Like, I am in severe pain, um, but I love it. And then I did legs yesterday. I love the gym. Yeah, but you're never going to stay that sore. Like, it's not going to be- Yeah, that's the after worst a few pain weeks, I'll get. get. Yeah. You know but what I mean? You know what I really like about the gym that no one actually speaks about? So, he, this is coming from a former gym hater- Everyone in the gym, when anyone would try and convince me to go, they'd always be like, bro, just go because like, um, you just feel good about yourself after and like, I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, you probably feel good about yourself after if you win a game of Russian roulette. And I'm not off fucking trying to do that shit. Do you know what I mean? But here's why the gym is cool. If you go with a friend, there's a sense of like, you're, like, you're accomplishing something together. I like walking around the gym and looking, seeing the other people. There's no, there actually isn't that much judgment as much as I think. Everyone's in their own world. No one's thinking about you. Mm. And I like tackling, so you kind of come up together. You're like on a mission together. It's really fun. You're like, what are you working next? Oh, I'm going to go to this machine. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Like I've, I've got to do this. All right, sweet. Let's meet back here after. And you put your music in and you do your workout, come back, meet up, you have a drink. How are you going? Yeah, good. It's like, okay, you know what it is? It's, it's a fun way to hang out. It's a fun way to hang out. Yeah. It's the equivalent of um, a whole day of going over to um, sharpen your pencil at the bin mm. and chat to your mate <laughs> before you go back. That's what the gym is. And I really am loving it. I'm happy for you, bro. That's good. Thank and it you. does make you feel like... The science behind it proves it does make you feel good as I well. I feel fucking great after. Yeah. Especially if you go in the morning and you're like, what do I do for the rest of the day? Yeah, it does kickstart your day real good. Mm. Yeah. Happy for you. Thank you so much, Pat. Yeah. Really good on you. And you're looking... The like, exact I same. looked at you and I was like, he's been going. You know what I mean? Cunt, I've been three times. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, What's I'm that say? <laughs> Imagine after know. three weeks. No. You won't fit through the fucking door. Oh, <laughs> shit, because I'm fat. <laughs> Just saying, I'm going to give up and eat a lot and I won't be able to fit through the door. You're a fuckhead. Um, can I say one more thing? No, or you can say as many things. You can say a hundred things. I just feel like I'm talking too much. Go, no, talk. No, why don't you say something and then I'll go back to mine. Okay. I, um, I went to see a new psychologist yesterday. Does she work miracles? I would fucking hope so. But... It just rubs me the wrong way that they charge $240 for someone who's sick in the head. You know what I mean? Like, poor cunts can't afford that. Like, I, I will prioritise it. And if I need, I know my parents will help me out, right? But what if it's some poor cunt who, like, actually can't afford it? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure a lot of mental health problems come from stress and money as well. That's hilarious. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's like, oh, thank you so, so much for talking to me for 50 minutes. I'm just going to charge you a quarter of a thousand dollars. My therapist like, is- Like I could live at, out of home and pay that much money. Like I pay that much money in rent pretty much my compared th to fucking going to a therapist. My therapist has never asked me about my money. I don't think I've paid him in five months and he never brings well, it up. Wait, who the fuck's so your therapist? Nice. Justin. Can I, I see Justin? <laughs> I like. I think I like a female therapist. No. She was really, really good. She was really fucking good. Like I really, because I've seen a few lately that I've just kind of like, nah. We're not okay, what's a bruh. nah then? I want to hear a nah vibe. Okay, for whatever reason, when they've got an accent, I really just don't gel. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, 
Like I just was kind of like. That's racist. That's not racist. It's just like when I'm te- telling you things. So how does that make you feel? <laughs> no, not Indian. I saw a French guy and he was good, but it's like. I don't want to have to keep saying, oh, sorry, what was that? You know what I mean? Like, shit, yeah. You know, I'm, I, I just want to tell you I'm fucked and I want to hear what you have to say. I don't want you, I don't want to be Does this count having as an you accent? repeat yourself. Ready? Does this count as an accent then? If someone goes like this, if someone goes, um, yeah, mate, well, honestly, like, I reckon you, yeah, honestly, if I'm. I don't know. What if you spoke like this? What if you spoke like something like this, like, mate? Well, that's just a normal accent. Though this is one of the worst voices in the world. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably annoy me a bit. But I... No, the, the lady was really, really nice. And she was... I just felt a good, solid connection straight away. You know what I mean? Like, that's I felt really comfortable. Lovely. And is she one of those therapists that does the classic, like... So, Pat, we're going to practice breathing exercises. No. Thank God. She can have a laugh. You know what it is? I'm, you know, I'm very lighthearted. So in all, all senses of matter, I always try to have a laugh and maybe crack a joke or two. And she's not in there kind of like, oh my God, this is therapy after like not crack a smile. You know what I mean? Like she's yeah. having a laugh with me. Which I is like good. Justin because he's not, when I was like stressed, I was like, is there anything I can do? Like, you know, like other exercises you can do? He was like, he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, an exercise or something, you know, to da da da. Like I know my friend goes to a therapist and they say to do this. And he's like, he's like, I don't know. You can Google that shit. He's like, we're not here to fucking do little exercises. We're here to figure you out. Okay, well, I, I was like, I, valid. I've got a couple little things to do, but not like, we don't sit there and, and practice breathing, but it's just ways to kind of think. They're just little exercises to do during the week. Homework, you could call it. You well, know what $240 I mean? is lovely. Yeah. And then I just felt a little bit at the end, it was kind of like, okay, I'll book you in again. It was kind of like, okay, are you just trying to take my money? But then I was like, I wouldn't mind seeing you weekly because like, you know, I just want Pat, to see you weekly. I guarantee you this. If I was your therapist, I'd try and book you in every day <laughs> and not for mo- not for money's sake. I'd be like, all right, I need to see you every single day for the next 20 years. But she was like, I think we start off fortnightly. So she's not just trying to take my money, which well, is good. Well, that fortnightly is not going to last long, brother. I would prefer to go weekly, if I'm honest. Daily. Daily wouldn't be bad. Well, I... You're going to hear this voice a little more, guys, because I went in yesterday to be a Triple J announcer, presenter, radio host. Actually. And it was fucking weird. It was So what, you did you... you, Give me a bit more context. I'm a bit confused because you you listed about three jobs there. So was it like, did you like okay, they were sitting host a... But no, job. did you like host a show? Or no, did you so like I went in there and like did a ad fake... Ad reads or like... No, I went in there and did a fake host. So like I was, I was on the air. Yeah, so you were hosting a show. Yeah, yeah, like an hour, right? It yeah, was like the late sick. night Triple J hour, right? And they and I was just like faking it, they're running through it. But it was so funny because the, the lady, Carla, she was so nice and she rocks up and she's like, um, oh, like, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks, da, da, da. And she was like, okay, here's your piece of paper and um, whenever you're ready. And I was like, what? Wait, when you say fake, was it on air? No, it was oh, a practice right. run through. Oh, so you might become a radio host. No, like if I might become a backup surplus to requirements, if I'm needed, I step up. Right. So yeah. casual. Casual, yeah. Yeah, like, okay. It was really, so they have this list of like songs that you play and then it says like talk here. So let's say like the song was recently, it was like Zach Bryan. So here's what I had to do, ready? And let's see if you could do it. Okay. So let's say the song before it was um, Olivia Rodrigo uh, Obsessed. Okay. Right? Obsessed by Olivia Rodrigo. You need to talk for a minute and then you need to introduce one of the latest songs. Let's say one of the next songs is um is fucking Beyonce uh with single ladies. So do they give you topics to talk about no. for a minute? No. They just say focus on the musical sort of stuff. Okay, uh, this, uh, that's wait, what I wait, mean. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so See, confused as that's to what how the fuck's I was. happening. But. That's how I was. And she was like, and go. So and are, like, are you whoa, with whoa, a partner? Whoa. No, it's just you. Oh, I can't do solo monologues. So go, give it a go. That was Olivia Rodrigo's Obsessed, everybody. Now that's part of a f- new 5 EP, which recently came out. Now, personally, I'm more of a guts guy. 
I love Guts, and I'm hoping she does come to Australia. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, she did tease it on her Instagram about six months ago. She put a little pin on the world map, but still no announcement. So I'm waiting patiently. I am waiting patiently, but I am starting to lose my patience a little. But speaking of someone in the experience in the tour world, we're going to go to a veteran, one of the best, one of the greatest. You could almost say Olivia Rodrigo's idol. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Beyonce's new song, Shake Your Hips, Sugar Hips. That was really, really good. That was really good. We're going to get a lot of calls. Thank you. Pat just said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't identify as either. I don't, you know, I hate that. You know what I mean? Like that people will be saying that a lot and you probably lose your job. Well, that's the part about working on Triple J, isn't it? But you did great there. Thank you. That was really good. That was really, really good. Thank you. And how did you go? Do, I want to do, what, do you want me to give you one? Is this what you want? Or? No, no, no. I, I had fun. I enjoyed it. I think I had some funny ones. I was like, I'm in the Triple J studio right now and um, there's five buskers in here. I was like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck's really going on. And then I said the word vibe and I was like, yuck. I was like, I've never said the word vibe before, but now I'm in Triple oh, J. Oh, that's Triple J. Yeah. yeah. And then I played a song that was like do you get to choose the you get music to choose two songs but they have to <laughs> be no they have to be um have been released recently they it can't be old music it does it have to be like triple j certified no no not at all and i remember i was like i i think i played charlie xcx song and then i was my next one i was like all right i'm currently naked in the studio that's what that song does to me they were really chill they're like you can say whatever you want it was a really cool environment it that's was really sick, fun dude well i hope you get the gig yeah i don't know i feel like I feel like I'd be terrible at it, but it was fun nonetheless. Kyle and Jackie O are the goats. They really are. Everyone that works for Kyle and Jackie O is like the scum of the earth, like scum sucking rodents. Who's that guy? What's I his think name? it's just that one guy who, who got in that little altercation with us. Um, no, no, but there's another guy as well. That's not the guy that you- I don't know. I don't about. listen to Kyle and Jackie O. They've got I, some I, like I love um, assistant guy. He's got a name and nickname and he's like- I know the there's scum. intern Pete. Yeah, him. Him, he's like scum. He's the worst of the worst. He's like a bottom feeding little God, awful okay. fuck. Do you have reasonings for that? Yeah, he just, his whole job is just like, how do I get reactions out of people and how do oh, I just is be the worst like, person? Is that what he ever? does? Yeah, that's his whole thing. Yeah, right. I just think, I think they're fucking fun. I don't listen to radio, but I do like them. They're funny cunts, bro. I just hope intern Pete gets to accomplish his goal in life, which is just getting to lick Kyle's little knob. Please, Kyle. <laughs> Just a little licky for the intern Pete, please. <laughs> Carl's in fucking LA, bro. He doesn't give a fuck. Carl's fucking just sitting on stacks of fucking money like we'll be when we release our fucking app. Don't mention the app. I'm not mentioning it, on but like, look, I'm just saying, man, we'll have an app that I, I shit you not. I'll wipe my ass with, I'll use $100 notes as cum tissues and I wank <laughs> a lot. That's a lot of money I'll be wasting. Okay, I want to talk about something. I would never, ever kink shame someone, but I'm going to kink shame a person I saw on Hinge. Okay. Because I saw one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. I feel like I'm going to be into it. Okay, I'm, I'm so glad honest. you said that. I'm, I'm so just going to be honest. I feel like I could be into this kink. So, I, oh, look, everyone on the YouTube, you can see Pat just goes on his phone. No, I'm just checking if I had something to talk about because I knew I wrote something down. That's Do all. You? Yeah. It's not much. You go then. Oh, it's just I got... I think I got Mimi hooked on horse racing because she loves horses. And she was like, she does this thing where she sits on my chest and like, I like bounce up and down like horse. Anyway, so I put horse racing on for her to watch it. And now all she asked for is horse racing. So we have to put replays of like the sports bet fucking, right? Like the Everest and shit. And she sits there and cheers for them, bruh. Good. My, my sister's like, are you fucked in the head? Like you couldn't have put a cartoon like horse or something. I was like, I oh, know it's the first thing that came to mind. Get her so to now, bet for you. Now Mimi's fucking addicted to horse racing. Get her gambling. Yeah. As I should. Yeah, as you should. Yeah. 100%. Good on her. So I'm going to kink shame this freak that I saw on Hinge. <laughs> okay. So... He was the worst bloke I've ever seen. I put it on my private story a while ago. Okay. Oh, I think I know what you're talking For about. For context, this was what this bloke was like. He, um, in one of his videos, before you have any sympathy for this loser, one of his videos was um, him sculling a vodka soda in a club and then smashing the glass on the floor and going, woo! Like that. That's the sort of bloke he was. So very he was, straight energy. I was going to say, very <laughs> straight very, man. Very straight man Well, energy. this is the thing. So one of my prompts on Hinge is, the first time I knew I was gay, I was. And then the thing was having gay sex. Funny little joke because I never have gay sex, right? But 
<laughs> well, you never have straight sex either. I know. Yeah. Fucking oath. So um, he replied to it saying, haha, for me, it was when my girlfriend pegged me for the first time. And I was like, I think funny? that's quite funny. No, no, I know. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's a funny opening. I, you know, he was hideous. Yeah. I'm not going to like an ugly freak. I'm not going to like you back. <laughs> okay. Right? Because he was disgusting. Okay. Anyway, just thought I'd let everyone know that. I scroll down, I scroll down. What you should know about me. That was one of his prompts or whatever. The next one was, uh, I got pegged by my girlfriend once and I've been craving the real thing. Like I want someone to use me. And I was like, all right, okay. so we're still on the pegging thing. Like that's fun. That's exciting. A little bit degrading coming into the mix. The next one was a voice message, like a voice prompt. It was, tell me about it, whatever it was. He goes, hey there, everyone. I just need someone to pin me down. Ever since my girlfriend pegged me, I just need the real thing. I need it so fucking bad. If any of yous out there want to have fun converting me, my little virgin, if you just want to fucking have a go at me. Oh, fucking hell. I'll just fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, okay, so I was disgusted in that. Yeah. And I would play the voice message, but, you know, just in case anyone, yeah. you know, I'm let's not about not. that. I'm yeah, not let's about not. That. Let's not. Scroll down to the next thing. My typical Tuesday. How many prompts does this cut out? Three. Oh. This is the third, final one. My typical Tuesday. I was like, oh, this will be interesting. Hopefully getting pegged by my girlfriend. I was like, brother, okay, yeah. we get it. You want to get yeah. pegged by a girlfriend. Wouldn't you love it. it. You want to get fucked by a male. Can I say this about, uh, this is the thing though. You've been fucked by a dildo, right? Let's say a dildo's this big or whatever. Yeah. You, if you want to like with me, brother, you're already getting a lot smaller cock. Mm -hmm. You're getting a dick as well that um, has, I've got a tight foreskin. Yep. So I need to be really well, nicely lubed up mm -hmm. because if, if I'm too dry and I try and fuck you like that, it's going to hurt me. So I'm not going to be able to fuck that hard unless I'm properly lubed. Mm-hmm. So what I'm trying to say to this guy is, you've gotten the best of the best. You've gotten a nice big dick and someone that can't really- A nice plastic dildo. And, and, and one that's not sensitive, right? Because if someone's got a sensitive cock or whatever, they can't just slam as hard as your girlfriend might have slammed you. So it's like, brother, you probably got the best of the best. Yeah, but I think he's gay, so he wants a guy to do it. I think that's probably I the know, difference. but if it's all for the feeling, brother, you got the feeling. You got a massive... Well, if it's all for the feeling, you could get one and stick it on the fucking floor and sit I got it. something for you, brother. That. Here you go, mate. A gold-plated Rexona can. <laughs> Put that up your ass. Well, yeah, but what's the kink you're... You, what, what are you kink-shaming here? Straight men. I don't think that's a kink. No, I'm degrading... What am I, I kink-shaming? I'm kink-shaming... I don't know what I was. I don't think him getting pinned down and wanting to be fucked is. I don't think that's shameful. No, but I'm freaked out at this bloke. He was so disgusting. And like, it was just like, he was just so freakish and scary. Pat is very um, supportive of me in my, he, he's worried about my safety sometimes. Oh, well, look, yeah. You've said a few things that you go, if you go and meet this person, I will drive with you to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, because it's a bit scary out there, I think. You know what well, I mean? after a couple more gym sessions, but... The world's a scary place, Will. But, um, well, it got me thinking of uh, when we were speaking about revenge the other day, right? And, and psych psycho things. So a girl messaged me, be like, this is what I did, and I'd love to get Will's take on this if it's kind of like, not homophobic, but kind of like, not bagging out gays. You'll know what I mean when I say it. Love it. All right. I'm putting the glasses on for yeah. this. So her boyfriend cheated on her. So she signed him up to Grinder, and posted all his photos on there and put the bio as like good mouth, good, like something like real horny and then his Instagram handle. So all, the, all these like heaps horny gay guys were sliding into his DMs on Instagram. Play on or not? I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's fucking fun. And it's not being like, oh, no, because you're gay. It's not, a, it's not baying people out. I think it's hilarious. It's fucking That's fun. one of the you funniest things I mean? I've like, heard. That's It's hilarious. nothing rude. It's not, you're not bagging out gay people. It's just, look, he doesn't want gay men in his DMs and he's got them. It's pretty funny. I think it's really funny. Good mouth.
Good, yeah, it was something I can get you. I can't, I, don't, I can't remember where That's it is. That's like, hilarious. It was a real to- like good mouth. If good, he was homophobic, good hole, like that would something make it like funny. Fu- be hilarious. If he was homophobic, absolutely hilarious. But yeah, it was like this real fucking horny kind of. And the way you've explained Grinder, I just know cunts would have been jumping at the bit for him. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh. Grinder apparently is a very horn dog place. Horn dog place. Mm. I think honestly, I'm thinking this could be an episode of the pod. I have my grinder like i'll make a grinder uh or remake it or whatever and then like we'll just put my phone on loud and just sit it there and we'll just get just not warm. and i'm not even saying that's just because people want me i'm just saying like Fuck that's yeah, just how it goes you. which could be funny It'd be hilarious absolutely hilarious oh, yeah. all there right so We're going to listen to some voicemails now that you've all left us. Thank you so much. We're very grateful and we love all of you. So this is our chance to hear your voices. And and just on that, so the hotline is set up for good now. It's not just for the 100th step. Mm -hmm. So you can call 0284057945 for whenever you want advice, anything like that. Call us, make sure it's under a minute. But yeah, it's not just for this app. So call it whenever you want. Let's go. Come back to Adelaide without Will. Yes. We're having a threesome. I thought they were about to say we're having a threesome. Goodbye, baby! Wow. <laughs> well, they sounded like the ugliest sluts I've ever heard in my life. Oh, fuck off. What an ugly bunch of little sluts. <laughs> oh, I'm coming back to Adelaide. I don't know who it was. Whoever it was, go fuck yourself and never listen to the pod again. How about that? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, I that was you. good. Good on you guys. You sound really fun. That was fun. That was fun. I like that. No, that, that was, was good. I, I don't want people to think I actually got cut by that. That was good. I really thought they were going into we're having a threesome and I was like, hey, I'll be on the next flight. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. I just want to say congratulations for having the worst fucking podcast it's Joe. ever that no one listens to. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Garbage thing to ever fucking exist on the planet. Um, I seriously hope that after this podcast, you, like, you guys take a long, hard think and seriously <laughs> rethink your futures because this isn't a career, okay? Um, so please take that. Just please take that advice. But maybe just, you know, yep. just go on a long drive and just drive and just never return because I honestly feel like you guys falling off the face of the earth would do everyone a favor. But, um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Um, I love you guys, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, da, da, da. That sounded longer than a minute, Joe. Not Joe, so it was meant to be under 40 seconds, but I know- but you're still in school because you're a dumb cunt. But you know what? You translate that and you translate that into that um, he loves us. and And that's what I take from that. And you better start looking because you got lucky with one acting job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Joe. Hey, boys. This is mainly for Pat. Of course, it's a little confrontation. <gasps> um, I saw you on Hinge a few months ago, and I left a message saying, "Green flag, not Canadian." <gasps> Never heard from you, never got a match. Fast forward a few months later, I get a shout out on the podcast that I made you laugh with that comment. <gasps> How come I didn't really get a response or anything? Anyway, I love the podcast, oh. please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was a great message. <laughs> that really made me laugh. I'm not going to lie. That that Canadian message, the green flag not from Canada. That was a great message. Go on. And well, why I don't... didn't she get a reply? I know. <laughs> I Do know. you want me to say why? Yeah. I'll say it right now. Let's put it together. You sent a funny message to Pat. He laughed. He didn't like you back. What's missing? Well, maybe... I don't know. I don't really use Hinge an awful lot. No, you do. You run it all the time. He just didn't find you physically his type. That's the truth. 
I guess. I don't remember what she looked like. I don't remember who sent the message. Well, she sounds gorgeous. She and did, you sound she like did, she did you sound, sound like an idiot but for, I don't, for turning I don't, that down. Um, I don't remember who I just remember laughing at it. And see, have Apologies. you noticed have you noticed that all of these are to do with you? This is why I'm saying you're the one that everyone loves and I'm this is why I'm so happy that I it's love It's been two there's been two about me. And we've played three. Yeah, there's gonna be some about you. I don't want any about I hope it's all about you. Uh, back in 2020, I was at a party after my friend Miss um, celebrations. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of a blow dart. I'm pretty sure I told Pat about this already, but that's all right. Um, so I ended up blow darting someone. Um, and basically what that is is when you put a straw in someone's ass and you blow um, Charlie up there. You know what I mean? Um, as I did that, I pulled out a straw and his poo air went in my mouth. So, um, <coughs> yep, still to this day I can taste it. I'm too nice of a person to tell them that they did that. So I just, like, ran out of the room and ate a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> I feel like I've told that story on the podcast because yeah. I remember getting told that. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I mean, I got that. <laughs> that's fucking rogue. Oh my. That is so rogue. Hey, cunts. Um, I've got some, I need some advice. So basically it was my birthday the other weekend and I've been talking to this guy on and off and we have left on okay terms, but um, mm. he slid in with a birthday message. I'm wondering, do you reckon he, like, what's the go with that? Is he trying to get back together? What's the go? Is he just trying to be nice? I guess it kind of depends what the message is, but I'm not going to read out that. But anyway, all right. Love you, counts. Bye. Oh, that's a okay, really great thought. That's a thought. fucking great one. My thought is this. If I had ended things with someone, I would feel obliged to send a happy birthday. Me personally. But saying that, people don't always have to send a happy birthday. I would say he felt obliged to Did send Did she it. say how long after they ended till their birthday was? A few months. Oh, if it's a few months, he wants know. back in. few weeks, I think he's just being polite, unless the message was kind of, you know, intense. But if it was just a, hey, happy birthday, I hope you're well, and it was after a couple of weeks, it's like, nah. But if it's been a few months, it's like, he doesn't owe you shit. He doesn't owe you a message unless you want something. I would say it's, if it was if it was a few weeks he and he didn't send the message, it's because it was, oh, he did send the message. Wait, fuck. If it's been a few weeks and it ended okay... No, I think, I think, yeah, he wants something. Even if it's just been a few weeks and it ended on civil terms and he's like, oh, happy birthday, like. No, because that's when I wouldn't send it. I'd, <clears throat> I wouldn't send one. No, yeah, I you'd think, feel bad. Yeah. I think if it's a few weeks, nah, if it's a few months, yeah, he wants something. That's yep. what I think. Valid. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about the time, this was a while ago, Will, you said that your, you were eating healthy and your poo was floating and you thought that was a good thing. And it just, it sits in the back of my head because floating poo is not a good thing and I don't know just yeah, I, 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 I just I can't so I don't know it's always in the back of my mind like Will thinks floating poo is good it's not <laughs> Jesus Christ fucking <laughs> gunshots for fucking feet well Okay, well then, I'm actually not taking floating shits anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think it was healthy to take a floating shit? Well, mine now sink to the bottom. <laughs> I don't think it matters, eh? No, I think one of them's healthier. Google oh, it. That's it was on rogue. Just Disgusting, those fact, that fact book. Are you guys, I remember you talked about you were friends with that lesbian couple or something. Yes. Yeah. So They're I can see, like, the dialogue says, hi, guys, it's the infamous secretly married lesbian <gasps> couple here. Yes. It's Have like, they left a voice message? Yeah, 57 seconds. Yeah, yes. play it. They can leave three minutes, honestly. Hi, guys. Oh, I love them. <laughs> it is the infamous secretly married lesbian <laughs> couple oh, here. Oh, they're the bad goats. We finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Oh. Um, we just wanted to congratulate fucking hell. We just wanted to congratulate you both on the hundredth episode. Ooh. Wow, we've been here from day dot, and wow. honestly, 
you wouldn't be able to tell because we didn't buy merch. We didn't buy merch or get tickets in time, um, but we still ended up at your show. <laughs> so how good's that? Um, we will see you, both of you, hopefully, at the Will's comedy show. Yep, <gasps> in Brisbane at Lefty's. And you'll just see us wearing a big fat strap on. Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> nice. We love Yay! that. Love, love you, you guys. <laughs> Bye. There oh, the goats. There the goats. There the fuck. You know what? I'm not even mad you didn't buy merch. Not you guys. I'm sending them free everything. everything. Yeah. They're just a fucking. They're just. They're this lesbian couple and they're just the goats. Like. And they're very hot. Hot couple. Hot couple. Hot couple. And they got married in secret. And, and like no they're friends knows. and that they don't know that they're married. It's real. Like, I love that. It's fucking mad. And they use big rainbow strap-ons. Also mad. Oh my God. The, wait, what? The fucking attitude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, we just, wait, we got to do it together. Hey. <laughs> Library. Yeah, Get we're it together. Library. Happy 100. I love, I love you, Gibby. I just wanted to be Oh yeah, I just wanted to say that um, Asha thinks that she can pull Patty. And well, we don't know what you look like. We <laughs> just say, when, just like we're, we can pull yeah, Jenna. It's like you can think you can pull Kendall. Asha, Asha thinks, Asha thinks that she can pull yeah. What's going um, on? Love you. Happy 100. Thank you, guys. That's Thank really nice guys. of you. Next time, a little more fucking organisation. <laughs> oh, I just didn't know what anything was said there. I just heard happy 100. And I, Asha, I heard I love Will. Someone said, Asha, whoever that is, thinks they can pull Pat, just like Pat thinks they can pull Kendall. Oh, I'll never pull Kendall, but a boy can dream. Oh, my God. I literally love you guys so much. The podcast is so cool. Will, I'm so excited you come back to Perth to watch your show. I obviously already have tickets. Tell me and something I don't know. Your podcast is literally the funniest thing to ever exist. Oh my god, I actually love you guys so much. But yeah, that's cool. So, see ya. You're a fucking queen. Whatever, cunt. That was so not. That was so wholesome. One that was, so nice wholesome. One yet. That was, that was one such yet. a wholesome message. Oh. You're a fucking goat. No, that one really. That one. That one gave me a few butterflies. That one hit. Yeah. Yeah, that one really hit. Damn, no. every time I try and fake cry, real tears come out. It's so annoying. I keep I can like cry on command. Wow. It's really annoying. But um that one was the sweetest one. So our friend far. Jordan can come on demand. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he can come. Our friend Jordan masturbates, right? And then he comes and then he just keeps wanking and he'll just nut four times in a row. It's fucked. And the cunt reckons he shouldn't be a porn star. Congrats on the hundred, you absolute cunts. Um <laughs> it's Gus. Oh, hang on, who's this? Is it? Wait. Hello, Mimi. Oh, it's not. not. Fuck off. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> Hello, Mimi. <laughs> not, another one. <laughs> not another one. Not another one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> God, it just got more and more terrifying. That was great. That was good. Poor that Mimi's was good. gonna grow up. Yeah, I know. Hey guys, uh, we just really wanted to say, uh, Mash. Not that funny. Mash? Mash. Mash. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. I don't reckon I would. <laughs> that is hilarious. Hello, my name is Sophie. Um, hey, Sophie. I was the one that posted that disgusting photo of you, Will, as an Uber driver. Oh, you And I'd just like cunt. to say, if I booked an Uber and I got in and Will goes, oh, hello, let's oge, I'd immediately <laughs> run away. I would run away. Seeing that face, that beautiful face, I would I you, run Sophie. for the hills. Anyway, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, maybe join maybe, maybe join the Facebook group and be a real one. <laughs> T, anyway, thank really you guys. Funny. Love you so much. You're Bye. a sick cunt, Sophie. That's great. Sophie, you're a fucking ogre. You're a sick cunt. That's really funny. And I would never pick you up in an Uber. Why? Because I don't need that job anymore. Money bags. Happy 100th episode. I just wanted to call in and say Patrick Clifton sold me fentanyl. 
Outback on a public toilet. It's Peter Glazer. What the fuck? <laughs> He comments that on all our TikToks, bro. Patrick lifted zombie fentanyl behind a public toilet. <laughs> Every fucking thing I did post, you? bro. No, bro. I didn't tell him fentanyl, but Peter fucking collazes. Hey, sorry, it's me again. Also, forgot to say <laughs> that he tried again. to give me an over the pants hand job <laughs> while he saw me fentanyl. What the fuck, guys? Seriously. <laughs> Laughy today. <laughs> He's just a funny cunt, bro. He's just a funny fucking Greek man. Hey, cunt. Um, I actually don't really have a whole lot to say other than. Okay, bye then. Love your work. <laughs> um, but I did want to say. Oh, well, you know, you do. I fucking hate Hobart, but if you could consider doing a live show down here, I would really appreciate that because I'm fucking broke and I can't afford to travel to Melbourne. So that would be great. Love you both. Bye. No one can afford to travel to Melbourne. Yeah. It's look, fucking expensive as all fuck. I didn't hate Hobart. It just, there wasn't much to do when I was by myself. I reckon if we went down there together, we'd have some fun. For a night. Yeah, we can go down there for a night. Yeah. I was there for two nights and... Pumped three. How many girls did you... <laughs> no, that's not my point. My point is I went there for three nights and I went to one pub. And no, was... so you went there for two nights. I went there for two nights, sorry. But you got and stuck went... on the three girls. No, I didn't sleep with three girls. Two. It's not, it's, bro, I'm just trying to tell a fucking okay, story sorry. about Hobart and I go there to the pub and it was the shittest whole thing ever and I felt like a loser just sitting there by myself while everyone was in their friend groups playing trivia. So that's what I have against Hobart. Where's bloody not Latham been? Where's Latham? <laughs> if I give him a Latham, bro. Thanks, fuck. Hey, guys, thanks for... No, you I'll call, you, I'll call you. What am I congratulating you for? 100 episodes. Some Latham just hit 100 episodes. Yeah, Latham's hit 100 episodes. Right. Hello? Hey, Latham. Hi. How you doing, mate? It's Pat from uh, Kiss FM. Hi, Pat from Kiss FM. I'm good. I'm just um really excited for the footy this weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm calling just to congratulate you. Your mum let me know that you've you hit 100 episodes mm. on your podcast. Yeah, really. Um, I'm really keen. I'm really excited. I want to... I'm hoping for my, I'm hoping they let me visit Jared Hayne. <laughs> I like, he's so cool. Well, mate, 400th episode, we're going to grant you a wish. My any wish? Any wish you want, mate. Oh, my gosh. Um, my one wish. You can help your dad get off cocaine. No, Anything you no, want. No, no, no. I think I know what it is. I want Boyd Cordner to take me to Wet and Wild. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> it is possible, but you know what? Since your dad is a terrible drug addict, I'll give you two wishes. So you had a wet and wild with Boy Corner, and then I think maybe we. And then I we want him to shit on me after. <laughs> 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 fuck, I love that cunt. Oh, fuck. Hey, boys, love the pod. Just like to say, uh, one ranger against another. I Oh. I think Pat will make it to 80. I'd bet my house on it. Yes. I think he's just going to be lucky. Yes. Lucky. Do you hear that? You I you would have to be you. lucky to make it to 80. I will make it to 80, brother. I'll see you, see you there. What up, players? Um, I just wanted to call in, say congrats around um, the new studio, all of your podcast accolades. Congrats on that merch drop. I just wanted to make a comment, Pat, I've been watching your YouTube. I saw that episode of you making donuts with Will. I don't know if I was the only one that saw it, but the way that Will looked at you in that video, I'm pretty sure he's secretly in love with you. Uh, Whoa. Okay, peace out. Wow. That's a bomb. <laughs> that is a bombshell to drop. Wow. Well, I think we are in love with each other. I think we are in love with each other. I think um, we're just not each other's type physically. If I was a hot girl, or if you were like a little twink, oh, we'd be married. It'd be game over. It'd be game over. Yeah, hundred percent. So you know what? He did look at me like he loves me, and I look at him like I love him. That's really nice. We should kiss on camera right now. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, you fabulous bitches. Rise and fucking grind. Ginger Biscuit and Patty Clifton. 
How does it feel to wake up being the most badass motherfuckers alive? You may think your anxiety levels might be at 100, but so the fuck are you. Go show the world why you're such badasses and make the day your bitch. From your humble Melbourne stalkers who never got to meet you but made you some extravagant fucking friendship bracelets because you cunts deserve it. Happy 100th episode. Love you. <laughs> Whoa, that was hectic. That was hectic. I love that voice. How long have we done of this? They're, they're go no, those people are actually goats and we do... They made friendship bracelets for us in Melbourne and their parents didn't let, it, let <laughs> them come to come meet us. Which I don't blame them, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> Hello, Will. Hello, Pat. Just wanted to say congrats on the 100th pod. Will, will you penetrate my asshole? <laughs> oh, my fucking God! He's getting way more rogue. That Was that a fake voice? Yes. Like, was that AI? Uh, I thought... Th no, no, that was a real person saying that. I thought that was like a little Victorian orphan. It sounded like Mary Poppins. Will, will you penetrate my ass? Wow. That was wow. fucked. <laughs> Would you? Uh, hey, fellas. I'm um, just calling just to say that I love the potty. I've just um, had surgery on Wednesday on my... Um, Got a couple of hernias in my groin. Ooh. Got that that shit fixed up, and um, woke up on Thursday at the hospital, just keen to get on to the uh, episode ninety nine. But um, that's right. I was some keen for uh, episode one hundred, and um, you boys have fucking made my year pretty fucking good so far. So what a sick know. cunt! Cheers, fellas. Hundred. Hundred. You're a sick cunt, bro. I'm glad you got your hernia sorted out. What's a hernia? It's like a when. Oh, maybe don't fact check me on this, but like it, you, I think it creates like a hole and like your organs kind of fall out almost. Bruh, well, I'm glad you got that sorted. You sound like a sick cunt. And I hope you got, I hope the hospital treated you better than they treat Pat. Yeah. So a while ago, I was meant to meet with this guy from Cinder and we had arranged to go to the beach for ice cream. Oh, hello. When I got in his car, I had been fucking hate crime because I was catfished. So we drive not towards the beach. So I asked where we're going and he tells me that he has to grab something from home first. He forcefully insists insists that I come in to meet his mum. We went to his room and the most violently outrageous sex scene from a movie was playing on his TV. I immediately sent a text to my friend. She calls me saying that my cat has been in a fucking cat fight and that there's blood everywhere. I forced him to drive me home and on the way he goes, this always happens. Girls always find an excuse to leave. All of that in under 35 minutes. Love you boys. Oh. Bye. Oh my wow. God. Girls are so brave because yeah. girls, straight women have to go on dates with straight men. Like, that is horrifying. Well, that wasn't a date. No, I know. But that like, was fucking horrendous. And I'm sorry you had to fucking go through that, as a matter of fact. Wow. That's crazy. And here he is trying to, here he is fucking putting a bad name on ice cream dates. Yeah. You fucking dog cunt. He's not a straight man. He's, like, a, he's a he's fucking a loop. Like that. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Hi, lads. Congratulations on the 100th episode. I'm just calling to get some advice on my mate Harry and his new partner. <gasps> so he's been dating this girl for a few weeks, and he suddenly keeps telling us he's going to propose to her soon. Fuck off. We hardly see him anymore, and all he wants to do is talk about kids and marriage. And we're all kind of worried that it's getting a bit too soon. So a bit of backstory. A few weeks ago, he forced us to fly here from Perth to be with him. They've already got a cat together and moved into a new apartment. He doesn't come out with us anymore, and all he says is that he wants to focus on going to the gym and build a future with her. We need your advice. How do we get our friends back? Well, look, there's, this is twofold. This well, is twofold. There's no way they've been dating a couple weeks and she's moved here from Perth. Okay. If, if they've been dating a couple weeks and they're speaking like that, you need to save. You need to save him. Because that's crazy. Well, I was going to say, if it had been a couple of years, then it's like, well, unfortunately, this is just the part yeah, of growing that's just, up. Yeah, that's right. But um, a few weeks, I think um, my... Oh, Look, I'll so tell you one thing. Say. You don't need to do anything to get Harry back. I think you will be getting Harry back within three months. Yeah, Harry's yeah. coming back soon. I think Harry and his new girl, I think old mate's going back to Perth. I think he's keeping the cat. And I think Harry will be... Climb his way back into the friendship group in no time. Can I tell you what I always would... I think do this. Hang out more without him. So, like, 
now it's time yeah, to don't involve him. post a lot on the stories. Go do, th- you know what? Take this time to go do more things that you guys wouldn't normally do. Without Big H. Without Big H. So it's, and put it all over your story. And like, this is most fun we've ever had. This is the crew. Because eventually it's going to grain on him. And she's going to go, oh, like, what's wrong? Well, I just think, look, if you've, if you've been dating someone for two weeks and you're living together, you're going to absolutely hate each other. Yep. You're not even fighting in front of each other yet. Like, what's happening? I'm tasting the sweetness of the breakup. Yeah, it's going to be great. Let us know when Big H returns, please. Hey, boys. Sorry, I'm currently sick, so I sound fucked. You but sound awesome. Happy 100. So, so obsessed with the pod. Will, you're the funniest, cute little ringer. And Pat, I'm definitely in love with you. But anyways, um, have a good app and keep doing what you're doing. Bye. That was the second sweetest one yet. Yeah. You're a goat. You should do something nice to her. I love you too. No, like something, you should do something nice with her. You should go on a date. <laughs> sure. Hey guys, it's Maddie and Aurelia. We just want to say we love the pod and congrats on the big 100. Really Thanks. quick question. Would you rather join in on your parents having sex once or have your parents watch you having sex for a whole year? Anyway, <laughs> congrats, guys. Bye. I'm letting my parents watch me have sex for a whole year, 100%. I'm letting my parents watch me have sex for so for the whole year, so they'll only watch me have sex maybe once. I just wouldn't have sex for the year. Or what, you got to fucking have a threesome with your mum and dad. Like, that's that's life-ruining. Because the other one is, um, would you rather watch your parents have sex every day or join in once to and stop it? And never see it, yeah. I'd join in once and stop it straight away. Because... I wouldn't... No, you would not join in, bro. Imagine... F- no, no, no. Here's the thing. The only thing I'm thinking about is... Every single day, having to watch them have sex, how much time out of your day that actually Yeah, but is. bro, having sex with your pet, like, come on, bro. I, I joined in once. Easy, done. All right, you're in a wall, the old you're in a wall, you go forward into your mum or I'd back I'd back into out into you. my dad easily because yeah. then you can't see it. Yeah. Your dad would have a fucking knee hanger, but I reckon. <laughs> All right. Your dad would have a tiny hanger. <laughs> hey, fellas, happy 100. Uh, great to hear you all. Um have made it this far. Um, also great to see how confident you both have gotten on the mic and on the podcast set, especially Pat. It's great to hear. Um, Ojon, Ojon boys. Happy Ojing. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Thanks for the... Um, I just farted. Thanks. For, thanks for the Ojon forever. Ojon forever. Forever and always. Hi, Patrick and William. Just want to say happy 100 and just quick math. 45 minutes per episode average times 500 is about 31 days total. So I spent a month wasting my time listening to you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Gun. Thank you, bro. That means a lot. Quick math. Um, Holy shit. 31 days. Well, we'll we've cunt. got a bunch of other hotlines. We've yeah. got a bunch Are of shit. More? So, yeah, there's so many. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much to everybody for listening. Um, yeah, we... Look, no, call- thank you for sending those in. Should we listen to more next week? Of that, of the, because I feel not, I don't want to be rude if they're congratulating us and we're just turning them away. I don't give a fuck. I do. So maybe we listen to more next week, but send in more ones, your advice, whatever the fuck you want to do. It's open forever now. It's open forever and always. Oh, John. Oh, John, guys, happy 100 to you. And we wouldn't have made it without you guys. 100, we wouldn't have. Well, we would have, but. Well, you probably guys. not. Well, I'm going to be real. If no one listened, I, pr- I don't think I would have made 100. Valid. I would have cracked Thank the shits. you. Thank you, guys. Absolutely would have cracked I the shits. I would have cracked the shits, too. And I wouldn't have fucking... Yeah, fuck that. But um, I don't know if you're watching us. If you're listening, you don't know what we're doing right now on camera. Okay. Thank you, everybody. But if you're watching, you know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs>